Hello everybody. Today my sister will be joining me and her and I will be making strombolis. So I want you to find your favorite dough recipe. Once you get your dough all together, begin to roll it out as you see my sister here doing. Roll it to the size that you feel comfortable with, the size that you want your stromboli to be. We, we were actually making about, I think, four. So we were um, actually rolling out. I think she rolled out one and I rolled out two because I was making two different kinds. I also had made another one with ground turkey. Oh my gosh, and barbecue sauce. I may do another video just for that one. But for now, this one, we're just going to be rolling out the dough and we're going to be uh, making a uh, pepperoni, basically a cold cut pepperoni stromboli. So whatever your favorite um, filling, um, pizza topping might be, feel free, please use that for your stromboli. So as you can see here, the first step, once you get it all rolled out, grab your favorite tomato sauce whether it's homemade, whether it's canned, or whether it's a jar. Just grab that favorite tomato sauce of yours. And I don't know, we weren't really measuring, um, so just add as much or as little as you like. And bring it, you don't want to come all the way to the edge with the sauce, but just get about maybe an inch or two away from the edge and come all the way down. Then second, you're going to be adding your favorite cheese. The first cheese that we added was provolone, and then we're going to top the provolone with some pepperoni. Yum, yum, yum. So you can add as little or as much pepperoni as you like. You can add turkey, pepperoni. Uh, is there such thing as turkey pepperoni? Turkey roni? I don't know. But <laughs> whatever your favorite meat filling is, you can just omit the meat altogether and just make it um, vegetarian and add your favorite veggies. So after the pepperoni, we will be sprinkling some mozzarella cheese, or as my mom would say, mozzarella. So add your favorite cheese. It can be Parmesan, it can be cheddar, but we're using mozzarella cheese. After your mozzarella, go ahead and hit it with another layer of your tomato sauce. And again, you can add as much or as little tomato sauce as you like. This is going to be your stromboli, so you make the stromboli to your unique style, your unique flavor. Whatever you decide, it's going to be good because it's what you like and because you made it. So after we put down our next layer of tomato sauce, we're going to hit it again with another layer of provolone cheese. And please feel free to use whatever cheeses you like. You can use um, provolone, you can use mozzarella, you can use... Again, um, cheddar, you can use Swiss, um, whatever you have on hand. This is what we just so happen to have in our refrigerator, so that's what we're using. And then we're going to hit it with another layer of pepperoni. Um, actually, um, the men in our family, they, they really love pepperoni, so that's why we're choosing to use pepperoni. So you can just keep layering. To your little heart's content <laughs> in all seriousness though um there's really no right or wrong way there's no real um rhythm or rhyme to how much you can put on your stromboli or in your stromboli it's all according to what you like so we're just now going to be adding another layer of mozzarella cheese so yeah this is a pretty thick uh, stromboli we have here and i've made several since then and i've actually made some with less um, some with the same amount and it doesn't change the flavor of it one bit I mean it's still good <laughs> it's just like I said um, whatever mood you're in at the time and however much you have on hand at the time so we were actually trying to get rid of um, a lot of bags of cheese that we had before they expired so we were just going for it <laughs> so right here we're just adding on some more tomato sauce and let me tell you guys, once this goes in the oven and it starts to bake, your house will be smelling amazing. It will be smelling like you just stepped into an Italian pizzeria. Yeah, it's, it's really that good. So as you can see, my sister is hitting it again with another layer of pepperoni. I know some of you are like, oh my gosh, the sodium. <laughs> content in this stromboli yeah I, I do have to admit though um 
uh, you will be thirsty after eating this. <laughs> Between the meat and the cheese and the sauce, yeah, it, it did leave your mouth desiring uh, quite a bit of water. But this is something that you don't eat every day, so I mean, go ahead and splurge just a bit. But if you suffer from high blood pressure, please don't do this. <laughs> so what we're going to be doing now is pulling the ends of the dough over. Uh, I think she went over about two inches and then we're gonna pull it from the end and like make a little tuck like you're tucking in the baby in the blanket and once you do that we're going to actually lift it from the middle from the ends and the middle and we're gonna fold it inward so it, it is gonna take a little bit of um, uh, technique here I guess to grab it and make sure that you're pulling and making sure that the dough doesn't tear at the same time so yep she did it she got it so what you're gonna do now is you're just gonna kind of take your fingers and tuck all the way down tuck the middle and go all the way down to the ends and roll so tuck kind of kind of tight but not too tight and then roll and just making sure everything's still staying inside and then you're gonna take the other end and you're gonna bring the, that end of the dough toward you and you're just gonna pull it and you're just gonna tuck it down okay it kinda gets um, taken a little used to to get comfortable with it but once you do this quite a few times you will be a stromboli professional <laughs> okay so after we do this you, you, I don't know if we were able to get that part on film but we're gonna actually curve it and we're gonna bring it over to our baking tray and we're just gonna line the baking tray with some parchment paper and this thing is heavy so let me tell you um, lift it with both hands when you're um, transporting it to the baking pan that you're going to be using so here it is straight but when you see it in the pan it's going to be curved what we're going to do now is take an egg and we're going to beat the egg because we're going to be actually hitting the stromboli with a coat of egg wash so like I was saying you can see here how we actually um, bent or curved our stromboli into the pan. So we're just going to brush our stromboli with the egg wash so that it can come out all nice and golden and brown and looking all good. And that was my niece there <laughs> throwing up the peace sign. She didn't know we were like really recording to put this on video and put it up on YouTube. So yeah, just come on down to the ends with that egg wash. Mm -hmm. And then get a sharp knife and we're going to make slits into the stromboli. And we're going to actually go the whole length of the stromboli with nice thin slits into the dough. So you just want to actually make the cuts in the dough. You don't really want to go um, all the way down into your meat and your cheese but this is actually going to help release some of the steam so that it doesn't explode in your oven so we're just going to come all the way down with our cuts and then I think our oven is going to be set at 375 and we're going to bake this for 35 to 40 minutes and according to how hot your oven gets you might want to check it at around 30 minutes to make sure that it's not burning and if the cheese bubbles out which mine always does it's all good because look at that oh my gosh you just go ahead and take your hand or a spoon and scoop up all that extra cheese and OMG but don't burn your lips and your tongue and here's the second one that we did because the first one that you just saw we devoured that so here's the second one that we pulled out of the oven and plated it because we were in such a hurry we didn't get a chance to film and plate the first one so here's the second one that we did and we just cut it in half this one did not have as much filling as the first one did so that's why it doesn't look as thick as the first one that you saw we put into the oven but it was still just as good and this one here is the, uh, actually a picture of the second one that we filled with the ground turkey peppers and onions OMG you have to give this one a try I'm gonna put up a, a video of the recipe for this one. so guys I'm out of breath, but I hope you enjoy. I hope you give this recipe a try. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like. Share with your family and friends. And enjoy, guys. God bless. Buen provecho.